Hello, this time I'm showing a tutorial about game live streaming with Google Hangouts. And I'm not doing it with Hangouts because I want it short, sharp and crispy. First I introduce the table of content. Just use the jump marks to go to one of the topics, but I recommend to view the full video. First is the intro. Uh, that's the jump backwards. Table of content. You are here now which program I use and why, setting up those programs, Hangouts common tricks, setting up Hangouts, preparing for record, and the fun part. First of all, I'm using the Chrome browser for various reasons. I haven't tried what I'm going to introduce with other browsers, so I can't say if it works the same way. The Google Hangout live stream isn't meant for game live streaming, just because the authors haven't thought about that. I don't know what results other programs give, but while using the Hangout screen capture with Minecraft, I got lousy frame rates. So I use a third-party screen grabber to virtual cam. The one I have used so far was also no good, but now I have found a good one, which is named XSplit Broadcaster. The bad things are the restrictions for the trial and the high annual license fee. With high I mean if you aren't a pro who's making money with the casts. Also Hangouts only allows one audio input stream. To fix this I use virtual audio cable. I have to mention that my sound card can't stream the whole output like a sound blaster could. All links are also in the description. By the way, I use programs like Audacity, Fraps, Debut Video Capture and VideoPad to make this video. I'm not sponsored from them. Now I'm going to set up the programs and also say why I do what. I start with virtual audio cable, I start the control panel and set two cables up. Why two? One cable is collecting all the sounds and send it to my headphones and the other cable collecting the first one and also my microphone input and stream that to the Google Hangout input. I only use the standard settings. Next, and this comes with virtual audio cable, is a MME audio repeater. First is that I'm set line 1 as wave in and put it in line 2. Important, you have to set the total buffers for the repeater always to 100 milliseconds because if you set it higher it causes a massive lag and if you set it lower it causes the buffer to overflow which drastically reduces the audio quality. Next I start this program again and map line 1 into my headphones. I also start the Windows sound device settings. I set line 1 as default audio device so that everything is streamed into line 1. I also set communication to do nothing because otherwise Hangout would mute all other sound outputs or reduce at least the volume drastically. And we are coming to XSplit. For that you need an XSplit account. After logging in and after the trial screen, still there in my case, we are going to add the actual source which can be a screen region. This is the only option since the trial version can't capture games. It can add cameras or it can, paid version only, grab OpenGL or DirectX games directly. It may happen that you like to play around with Google Hangouts and its settings without inviting anyone. For this you need the Hangout link, also in the description. And if you don't have this video at hand, you can generate this link easily by starting a Hangout party and copy everything in the URL, including the underline but without the hash. Open a new window or in private mode, a new tab does also do the job and paste it in the URL bar. 
Then you can click abort without inviting someone or closing the window and without using Hangouts on air, which is also an option since you don't have to click broadcast. So you can set up your settings like audio and video input or install Hangout apps. In the preview, your image is for you only mirrored. Everyone else sees it not mirrored, so to speak in the correct way. Why Google have done it that way, nobody knows it. You can also use the great tool Hangout Toolbox to mirror your mirrored picture and get the correct one. It allows you also to do screen overlays like this one. Just use the picture with transparent parts in it. There's one more trick for Hangouts on Air and that is for Hangouts on Air only. I have to mention that Hangouts on Air always need a set topic. Be careful, that topic can't be changed in that session. In the settings you can select Studio instead of Voice, which is default, and with this you will enhance the audio quality. I also recommend for the first tries to use a good friend to help checking everything before going on air. He will tell you if everything works like expected. One more thing you have to know. If you have a Google page and you want to install Hangout apps with that identity you have to log in with it. While you can use everything else without a problem with using your personal identity login, this won't work. The bad thing is that you don't even get an error message, so you may not know what went wrong. And even one more thing. For Hangouts on Air, you need a confirmed and connected YouTube account. There might be more tricks, but they are not needed for this tutorial. Next, starting the game. XSplit Broadcaster is a very powerful device. It not only can track and grab your windows, it can also add various video sources like live streams, local video files or your webcam. Let's set it up for recording. And because you're going to see me, it will be get ugly. First we want to add a screen region. While I was recording the screen I haven't found that in the general settings is an option to hide the XSplit recorder window from the records. The default size is one quarter of the screen. Just drag it to the right position and size. As demonstration I also add my webcam input. General tip, play around with settings in this program in Hangouts in general. You would be surprised how much you can learn and find out just with playing with the settings. As you can see, you can also define the size in the options of the layer. But right now I'm going to config the camera stream. Output means the output of the webcam. I set it up to RGB24 and a lower resolution for better results in the next step, the color keying. I only want to have a small image of myself anyway. Again in the settings, I select the color page and go there to color key. Now I'm using the eyedrop tool to get the basic color and then I have to play around a little with the settings. Until I'm satisfied, which means all green is gone and all of me is still there. I can't see really if it's good or not, so I have to enlarge the picture again. This is the first tutorial I ever have made. If you think it could be improved, then write it in the comments. You won't believe how much points of view can be different. And while for someone something is clear as day, for someone else it's a riddle wrapped up in an enigma. I make it small again, cause if it's small, then small faults aren't that eye-catching. You can use different scenes. I'm using it to blend myself in and out. Now the fun part can begin. Record and stream your own game video.